Hi and welcome to Peacemake TV. In today's Reaper tutorial we're going to be taking a look at one of the little hidden gems inside Reaper that allow you to get a little bit creative with your MIDI files. Let's take a look at what that's all about. So when you're working with MIDI inside any digital audio workstation, in this example Reaper, one of the things you're going to want to do from time to time is select uh, MIDI notes based upon an interval. So let's say for example you're dealing with a high hat beat and you want to create an accent on every second note or every fourth note, then that can be a little bit laborious to go through and manually select those, especially on larger passages of music. So there's a little feature that Reaper has that's kind of hidden away that allows us to do exactly that. So let's take a look at how easy it is to create not only a shortcut for it, but how we can open that up and how we can apply that and use it in our MIDI production. So for this example, I've just got a simple piece of MIDI, just some hi-hats. If I just play that, you can see the kind of thing that we're dealing with. Just the kind of thing that if you're dealing with a drum beat and you want to create a fast hi-hat passage, you may be doing exactly the same kind of thing. But as we can see, if I want to go through normally and select these, I have to click on one, hold the control key down or the command key on a Mac, and control, sorry, command click, control click, until I select all the ones that I want. That's okay if you're dealing with this right at the beginning, you know exactly what you want to create and you're copying this information over and you can just sort of select two beats and then copy the entire section and copy and copy and so on. But if you want to do it retrospectively, it gets a little bit annoying. So, there's a great little function hidden away in the Actions panel of Reaper that allow us to specify how we want to select the information and which particular channel in the MIDI sort of section we want to work with. Now, I've created a shortcut for this, and you can do this quite easy just by right-clicking on your toolbar, Customize Toolbar, and then you can come through and create a custom um, entry. So, if I just show you where this is, and you can create your own, if we click on Add, you'll see that we can go in and add exactly what we want. So what I'm going to do is just type in MIDI and you can see that I've got script MIDI note selector dot WL. Now this is something that you can download from the stash completely free and just add it to your instance of Reaper. So you can expand it, which is one of the great things about Reaper. So if you don't see this in there, which you won't by default, all you need to do is hit the load button and that'll automatically open up the scripts folder. And then all I've done is drop in the MIDI note selector.wl file and you can get this from the Reaper stash and I'll put a link in below so you can get this directly from there. Once you've done that, just select it, click open. That will do exactly what we've just done here, load it in. You can filter your information, then you can select and close. That'll put in the button for you and then you can customize it in any way you want. I've just done some, some text on there. So that's, that's it, that's how you customize it. So once I've got that, I can hit that. That'll open up this little window, which looks very unassuming. What we can do is we can select every X note. We can set an offset on that, and we can choose which pitch, in other words, which uh, entry in our MIDI editor. Now you can see that at the moment, the snare rim shot in this example is the one that's highlighted in a blue color. So if I take my mouse over that, and I just use my up and down wheel, you can see as I move it, the blue line below moves up and down until we get to the actual entry that we want, which in this example is the closed hi-hat, which is pitch, FD, pitch 42 F sharp. So what I can do now is you can see everything is currently selected. So I can go over, select every X note, and I can use the scroll wheel on my mouse. And you can see now I can just use every second note, every third note, every fourth note. So let's just say I want to select every other note, but I don't want it to start on the first I want it to start in the second. I could just go down to the offset, take my mouse over that, use the scroll wheel, and now I offset that to base it upon the second note in our selection. So if I want to do every third note, and offset that so it starts on the first note of the beat, I can do just that. And the annoying thing is this does tend to sort of go behind everything if you select something else. So now we can go in there and we can easily just adjust the velocity, for example. So we could say we want to create a pattern that has a quieter every uh, third beat 
is going to be quieter. So if we just run that pattern, you can hear we now get a slightly quieter beat. Now you can get creative with this, you can do what you want with it. But realistically, what I wanted to do was just show you this little tool that you've got in the Reaper stash. You can quickly put it a Reaper, create a shortcut, and then you can create some great ways of selecting random MIDI notes based upon the parameters you set within this. Well, I hope you found this little tip useful. I hope you find that it'll make your MIDI selection, editing, and creating cool uh, MIDI sounds a lot quicker and easier. I hope you found it useful. If you have, please hit the subscribe button below. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it, a thumbs down if you didn't. But until next time, happy mixing.